Here's a grasshopper in my lawn. This footage is from 18 October 2016 at my house near Albany, New York, USA. According to Wikipedia, quote, Most grasshoppers are polyphagous, eating vegetation from multiple plant sources, but some are omnivorous and also eat animal tissue and animal feces. In general, their preference is for grasses, including many cereals grown as crops. Grasshoppers have a typical insect nervous system and have an extensive set of external sense organs. On the side of the head is a pair of large compound eyes, which give a broad field of vision and can detect movement, shape, color, and distance. There are also three simple eyes, ocelli, on the forehead, which can detect light intensity, a pair of antennae containing olfactory and touch receptors, and mouth parts containing gustatory receptors. At the front end of the abdomen, there is a pair of tympanal organs for sound reception. There are numerous fine hairs covering the whole body that act as mechanoreceptors, touch and wind sensors and these are most dense on the antennae, the palps, part of the mouth, and on the cerci at the tip of the abdomen. There are special receptors, campaniform sensili, embedded in the cuticle of the legs that sense pressure and cuticle distortion. There are internal cortitonal sense organs specialized to detect position and movement about the joints of the exoskeleton. The receptors convey information to the central nervous system through sensory neurons, and most of these have their cell bodies located in the periphery near the receptor site itself. Grasshoppers have a wide range of predators at different stages of their life cycle. Eggs are eaten by bee flies, ground beetles, and blister beetles. Hoppers and adults are taken by predators including other insects, such as ants, robber flies, and sphecid wasps, spiders, many birds, and small mammals. Grasshoppers are affected by diseases caused by bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa. End quote. This study examined grasshopper learning and found that, quote, our results show that the grasshoppers that could employ associative learning for diet choice experienced higher growth rates, demonstrating the adaptive significance of learning in a small, short-lived insect." End quote. 